everyone, and welcome to another episode of We Three Thieves! Woo! I am joined today with two other thieves. I am the third. We got Leslie, me, Peter, and we're going to be answering some of the questions that you guys sent in. Alrighty, question number one. Okay, Valerie Damata asks, which streamer took you by complete surprise when you first met? Ooh. Oh, there was that one that I thought was gonna be so nice, but then when I met her, she was such a... No, I'm kidding. There's nobody. I have one. And her Opposite. name was... Brooke A.B. Oh, <laughs> good one. I guess so Scara for me. Oh. Uh, I, we, <laughs> we met at Ray's birthday party, and this is also the first time I was gonna meet Ray, but um, Scara basically just... He's like very seductive. I don't know how to explain it. Like oh. he, no, yeah. Like he, he just had a drink in his hand and then like I walked in and then he saw me and he kind of like sauntered over to me. I just remember the way he like introduced himself, like talked to me for the first time was like such like a, oh, like you're- Wow. What, oh, <laughs> excuse oh, me. Wow. So yeah. Um, the streamer that took me the most by surprise was Jacksepticeye. Ooh. He was so Oh. Oh. oh, damn. Yeah, actually, oh. He seems so friendly, but then he's such. I can't believe you'd say that about him. That's crazy. So messed no, up. I never it's said that. You think sure that, that he would out. have like this massive ego because, you know, he's just up the guy, but mm -hmm. then he's just like, like he's such a, he's so jolly and so friendly. So nice. He's the sweetest guy. Like I, for someone, I don't know how to explain it. Like for someone his size, like if he never acknowledged my existence, I would like, I would get it. You know I'd what I mean? Like, oh, I would get yeah. it. I'd be like, no, I understand. who am I to Jacksepticeye? But like, he's like, he's like messaged me on the side and be like, hey, it was really nice meeting you. Like I was fun playing games. We should play again sometime. And like, I was like, what the, oh, what the <laughs> like, The second question comes from Hari. Hi, Hari. Hari, hi. Says, give us the most embarrassing slash awkward date experience you've had. Oh, she's got one. She literally almost spit out her drink. Speaking of Mason, no, I'm sorry. Go, continue. Yes. Oh, me? Yes. No, someone else has got to have a good one. Do, do dates I can't drag Mason. Do dates end up actually being dates Yes, yes, okay. yes, any so, date. Yeah, so. This person and I are actually on good terms now. It was just like awkward for a period of time, but like basically what happened was, yeah, we kind of connected through Twitter DMs. We talked, uh, we ended up like um, talking a lot. We like, would message each other like for hours and hours. And like, we would watch like anime together one-on-one -on -one through Discord, which I was told was supposed to be like a romantic thing, right? Like a flirty thing. And yeah, all the signals were, Man, Leslie, you led me astray. So basically, <laughs> oh, I did tell her. I told, I like told Leslie like play by play what was going was like, on, yeah. and she was like, "Dude, she's this into is, you." This yeah, is for sure. Yeah, this, this one is a yeah. anime in the Discord. Call. Yeah, and then we would like play like games together, TFT together, and stuff. And then like uh, one day, I asked her to grab lunch, and she said she was down. We go, we grab lunch, we're talking, <laughs> and turns out she lives with her boyfriend. So I'm just like, oh. She asked me, oh, who are my roommates? And I told her, oh, I live with like Leslie, et cetera, et cetera. And I was like, oh, do you live with anyone? Do you have any roommates? She's like, oh yeah, I live with my boyfriend. I'm like, oh. oh my God, how did you keep, what was your face? <laughs> my face was just like, uh, 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 uh. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know how to react. I legitimately was like so thrown off. I had no idea, like no, there was no inclination in my brain that there's any possibility that she was in a relationship. And like, yeah, it just, I was stun locked. I, I was, I, yeah, I, 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 I broke down. I try to keep the conversation like pretty casual and like chill or whatever, but like on the inside, I'm just like, <laughs> like thousand yard stare. And then she's like, oh yeah, do you want to grab dessert after this? I was no. like, oh, you I'm know, busy. I'm kind of busy actually. And like, I gotta go home. That's awkward. Cause Mason's not awkward. Uh, <laughs> right. Um, embarrassing. And I've told this story, so I'll just be very brief. I've, I've never heard it. So I want you to tell the whole thing. <laughs> Mason came to visit me for the first time in Oregon. He's already laughing. He came to visit me in Oregon for the first time and I didn't want to stay at my parents' house because for, you know, reasons. For reasons. So we got a hotel. Oh, it was one of the reasons. <laughs> it, was <laughs> it was really romantic, okay? It was super romantic. We got a hotel, whatever. Anyways, we're like, we're making out. Like, okay, nice, you know, whatever. And all of a sudden, like, my face is like, what? And I'm like... Like, is this guy crying? Like, what the, like, this guy's crying right now? Anyways, he like pulls away and he looks at me, he goes, oh my God. And oh I was like, God. what? 
he got a bloody nose in the middle of our makeout. Bro, anime is real. <laughs> and anime there was, is real. There was, Bro, I thought it was fake. Every time crazy? dudes get turned <laughs> on in anime, they go, <laughs> like you're telling me Mason is literally an anime protagonist? That's incredible. There was blood all over my face. He said it looked like a murder scene. <laughs> this is blood. How did you not taste it? I didn't taste it. I wasn't like Why licking my lips. Why is that the first thing that comes I'm like, your nose and your mouth are really close. You're, you're making out. You're tasting You blood. think I'm just like, mmm. Uh, <laughs> no. Oh, type no. Mm, pennies. Pennies. No. Um, you watched too much True Blood. Anyways. Yeah, I did watch yeah, he was. He was very embarrassed, and I said, "Don't be embarrassed. It happens. What can't control it." I thought it. the story was gonna be way worse. That's I'm so sweet. Be no, it was just he was embarrassed. Mine was very. It's like I it wasn't even a date. It was well, this guy thought it was a date, but it wasn't. What? Wait, wait, wait a second. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> wait a second. Cut Hurry up. <laughs> Cut the camera. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I was on. Uh, I was hanging out with this guy, and he was under the impression it was on a date. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> And Which anime was it? It was no. We were literally just hanging out. We went to like a party together, and then we were hanging out in the car afterwards. And like, I think I was driving. I was like, oh, I'll, I'll drive you to your place. It's like, drop you off. Mm -hmm. So we, I, I, we just, it wasn't. We didn't even like go on a date. We went. We were like hanging out at a party, and then I was like, oh, like let me drive you back. So I get in the car, drive him back, drop him off, and then he gets that. Like he's like getting out of the car, and I was like, well, you know, it's great to see you. Great, great hanging out. And then he just leans in for a kiss, just like face just in mine and I went whoa 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 and then oh he's like my oh my god did I read that wrong and I was like oh my god and he's like I'm so sorry and I was like no it's okay I just and then you know we just had a really awkward like I'm so sorry no you're okay it's totally fine oh that's no you're good you're great <laughs> and then he's like bye bye and I just stood there like just sitting How in my long car ago was that? that was in college 2014 oh, I was gonna bro, say, that so guy you still think thinks about that moment he will like he's like oh, he's like sleeping you. and then he just his eyes shoot <laughs> open he's like oh he's just like screaming <laughs> ah, I just had no idea it was crazy like I never misread a situation so like I had no expectation Maybe he just, maybe you were fine. He misread the situation. He just lunged also, in. Like, is there like a signal? It was like an impulsive, intrusive thought. <laughs> Ladies, is there a signal? Like, how do we know when to go in? When they're looking, eyes on the lips, who knows? If a girl's looking at your lips, okay, no. <laughs> I'm what the I have to hide my lips now. I am not trying to keep Hey, it. hey, I'm stop just... it, all right? Twisted Tea is the unofficial sponsor of day drinking for wherever or however you're watching the game. Twisted Tea is the go-to drink for tailgating and turning up with gaming. It's delicious, refreshing, smooth, easy to drink. I mean, I could, I could go and, you know. Twisted Tea contains 5% alcohol. You must be 21 or over. Please twist responsibly. This question is from Chantel. What is something crazy slash spontaneous that you would want to do but unable due to your career as a content creator slash streamer? I don't know. I can't talk today. Hey, that let was me read the question. Can you read that for me? I'm so sorry. From Chantel. Read. Thank you, Brooke. Uh, <laughs> what is something crazy spontaneous you'd want to do but unable due to your career as a content creator slash streamer? Get up. Move to Japan for like a month. I don't know. I feel like. Yeah. That'd be sick. Like with non, uh, I guess you could, but it's like, how am I gonna get my hours in? Own a dog. Oh. It's really hard to own a dog while you're a streamer. Like my respect to yeah. like Sid and other yeah. dog owners. Like it's so tough, like yeah, to Lily. Anything normal, like hanging out with my friends without internet weirdos being like, you're cheating on your boyfriend. I can't believe you. Like, I'd like to just be able to go out to dinner with friends and not be like. <gasps> I can't believe you cheated on your boyfriend with Leslie. Right? <laughs> Listen, I couldn't I resist. Know. Her lips were looking she, extra she juicy. She looking down at my lips. It was crazy. <laughs> All right, we don't need the callback. <laughs> Let's forget it ever happened. <laughs> Never back. happened. Yeah, that was a good callback. Okay, I actually talked about this with Sid recently. Um, I would really love to visit every state. Like, I know that sounds... <gasps> road trip? Like, we, like, we're thinking, dude, what if we, like, road tripped and we just stayed in each state for however long we wanted and then as soon as we're like done with that state we just went to the next state immediately or like maybe or flew you know yeah. so that, uh cool. it's like yeah we're joking about like how we would land in ohio and then just like fly out of ohio because we're, we're, we're <laughs> like technically we were in ohio but we never stayed there so sorry the ohioans anyway um I'm good. yeah <laughs> okay question number four from nebulous 745 hi nebula hi um, oh, I love this question. Which particular type of media, book, game, movie, etc., had the most effect slash influence 
on you growing up and or currently? <gasps> Ooh, I mean, I loved reading growing up as much as I do now. I think like... But you went from like normal reading to like <laughs> reading. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So what I used to read, um, which I loved, like I think I was in middle school around, like all those, you know, that like period of books and movies that was like dystopian worlds where yes. it's like, the oh, like Edge Runner and, and Maze Runner. Oh, Maze Runner, not Edge Runner. Oh, Edge Runner. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking of Cyber. I was thinking, I was thinking of Cyberpunk. She just said, I, I said dystopian worlds. She goes Twilight. Twilight. <laughs> yes, I was a Twilighter. Stephanie Meyer, go off. That's my girl. For me, I mean the Harry Potter series, yes. obviously, but the books specifically. The movies don't really do justice. IMO. Um, Kingdom Hearts One was probably one of the most influential games in my life, it, along with like Pokemon series. Final Fantasy games, uh, I don't know. Uh, World of Warcraft was also instrumental in ruining part of my life. Uh, but yeah, there was a lot of books. Artemis Fowl. I like the Redwall series. If anyone read Redwall, the, the, the medieval mice. Okay, sorry. Go ahead, your turn. High School Musical. That's it. I just sang a lot of High School Musical. Watched a lot of High School Musical, oh, and that's how I started singing because, or like, someone met my best friend in co choir because I was singing Breaking Free, and then she's like, Aww. "You like High School Musical?" I was like, "I love High School Musical." She's like, "I love High School Musical," and then we like met there in choir, and then we sang "Start of Something New," and we recorded it onto like Garage Band. This could be the start of something new. It feels so right to be. Um, next question is from Shaylee Nolan. What would you recommend people do when their viewers are stuck at one to 10? Bot you viewers. bought, baby. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, what? We both said bought your viewers. <laughs> uh, real talk though, it's too hard to grow on Twitch alone. You have to, you have to use, uh, you have to use other, dog. you have to use other platforms to leverage uh, viewers. Yeah. yeah. Bring them in from short, other form. Places. short form. Short form is the way. Yeah. Reels, shorts, TikToks, do that. Boom. Like do your normal stream whatever just take good moments from your stream and convert them into good shorts good short form content because that's how you will blow up i'm even struggling to do that right yeah, now like this is great i'm, I'm trying yeah. to figure ourselves. it out like i'm literally in the process of trying to find like yeah. a TikTok manager short like short form manager so uh that's the that's honestly the best way last question for the day from user tiff mm -hmm. what career besides gaming would you pick for everyone so like pick for them Oh. Professional driver for Leslie, oh for sure. Oh my god, yes. Really? <laughs> I wouldn't have picked that one. I don't think I'd pick that. Really? <laughs> really? Did you mean that? I couldn't tell if you were being serious or sarcastic uh, I'm at totally first. serious, guys. You see, that's so sweet because I probably could. I could do it if I Not wanted. Not if you if drive the same as in GTA. That's role play. <laughs> that's me getting into character. Thank you. <laughs> um, okay. Thank you. Okay, so she'll be a- I'll be a driver. A singer. Oh my god! Like a like a pop star that like goes on tour because she's already a singer and she like posts her music. But I think she could like be like on stage like traveling singing. Hell no! But I'll take it. But like I have way too much stage fright for that. Aww. Yeah, but that's really sweet. I believe stage fright. I have nerves. It's bad. Awful. Hate it. But that'd be cool. All right, um, Peter Brooke. Who's for Brooke? For Brooke. Oh. Who's nutritionist? You give off big nutritionist vibes. Guys, I'm afraid of your fruit. I'm no, afraid no. Of food. Yeah, but like you're that type. I feel <laughs> like I no fruit in your diet. You you none. Come, you come over and you're like um, a fridge organizer. Um, no, then she would have to touch the I'd fruit. Have to <laughs> that sounds. Well, Leslie. Uh, you no, really good everyone at it. stop because I. What would Leslie be? I'm like a pop star up on stage, you know, singing in front of millions. <laughs> she says that I'd be a fridge oh, organizer. Oh, Brooke's on Task Rabbit. She can organize my fridge. Oh, God. Okay, Peter. Hmm. I'd say like a stand up comedian. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Nope. Oh, no. My we no. both said comedian. Actually, no. Ah, no. That's so. Okay. Like it's meant to be. Observational humor and reactionary humor is very different from like cracking jokes on stage. Like, most awkward and nightmarish experiences I've ever had, <laughs> this is a little dramatic, was when I was at a bar in college and my friend introduced me to this like very attractive girl. He's like, oh, this is my friend Peter. He's really funny. And then she's like, you're funny? Tell me a joke. And I was oh, like, no. What? That's not how I'm funny. <laughs> Peter, that entire last 30 seconds could have been you on a stage telling it's that story. Wrong. And that's exactly how I envisioned it. Yes. And like- No, but that's like, it's not really, like stand-up comedy is not really storytelling. It's more like- 
like, it kinda, like it is. there's like, it there's is. like, I mean, a it little is. bit, but there is like Keeps delivery and slowly. then punchline, delivery and then punchline, you know? Alrighty, that will do it for us today. Thank you guys so much to Twisted Tea and you guys for being here. Make sure you guys leave comments with any other questions, whether it's on Twitter, or YouTube, Instagram, Reddit, Reddit any, anywhere. Give us more questions, okay? Thank you guys for watching and we will catch you next time. Goodbye. Bye.